So first, we're going to click join. And we're still going to use the Revolut on this one to start out with. Um, and I'm going to take what I have found to be the easiest thing to do is to just click on the top of this. So it's that nice little black circle again. And then click on here and have that nice little black circle. And then just drag it upwards. And I went ahead and dragged it one inch. And then I got the second one, same process. So J for joint, there we go. We're still doing a revolute motion. Select the top of this bar. So we have that black outline, that black circle. And then over here is fine. Also a black circle. And now it'll revolve in there. Gonna drag that up and make it one inch as well so that those are in line together. And now I'm gonna do my two rigid joints. So clicking J. And now I'm gonna change my motion to be rigid because I want these to just rotate with this axle. And I'm gonna select my, let's see, we can select the circle here and then select this circle here. And then you can just slide that down. I'm gonna slide mine down so that it is 0.5 inches lower. And that should be good. Okay, so now if I click on this joint, two finger click and click on animate joint, it's gonna animate just that part, but then if I animate the model, you can see that causes the pulley to rotate with the axle because that's a rigid joint. Exit to end that. <clears throat> Okay, uh, last joint. And I'm gonna select my little circle on this pulley again. There we go. Select here and drag that down negative 0.5 inches. And now those are in line. Now, if I click on animate model, Those will rotate together. And then I can also animate this model. And that will rotate as well, but there's no motion link between the two of them. So that's the last thing that we're going to create is that motion link. Uh, motion link is gonna also be under this assemble dropdown. And there is not a hot key for motion link. So you are just going to have to click on it. And then we come down to where it says motion link. And we'll select our two joints. So you're going to select this joint here. And this one. There we go. Now they're both selected. Okay. Um, they're both revolving around uh, at the, the same rate. And so what we need to do is figure out based on their diameter, um, which one should be rotating more. So what I'm gonna do is show you guys on my final example, this pulley that has the motion link on it already. Um, if you guys can see down on my bottom toolbar here, this motion link five. I'm gonna click edit feature so I can show you. So this one, the first one, every time it rotates uh, 360 degrees, the pulley actually has a diameter that's a fourth the size of this diameter. So we're gonna make that four times 360 degrees. So 
how that works back over here under assemble motion link. There we go. Uh, select my two joints again. And this one. And so down here, we're going to have this be four and then star. And that. Yeah. So now every time this one goes around once, this one will go around four times. So you should see that this one is actually rotating a little bit faster than this one. And then we'll click OK. Um, for your screenshot, I do want you to show me that motion link information. So to open it back up again, all you have to do is click down here on the toolbar, double click or on the timeline, double click that, and it will bring up this little box. So then now when you take your screenshot, it's going to have this information in it. Um, and then it's just the two screenshots that you are uploading. And now I'm going to